When you flood a forest, you kill it just like you chop down a tree, other than you chop down a tree, a tree grows back. You flood a forest under 100 feet, 200 feet of water, nothing's coming back. Those trees, yeah. you just killed one billion trees, and they're the folks sneering at the rest of us saying they're so high and mighty when it comes to carbon dioxide, Tom. Yeah, I know. And in fact, the reservoirs themselves are a big greenhouse gas emitter for two reasons. One, people are pretty aware of, and that is that when you flood swampland, you have a great deal of methane emitted. And it emits for years and years, and methane is a far stronger greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. But there's one other factor that is very never, virtually never brought up. And, you know, a friend of mine is a water resources expert, and he went through the calculations back in 2002 when we were debating Kyoto. And he said, you know, if we really wanted to meet the Kyoto Protocol, we should drain all our reservoirs because uh, water, <laughs> water vapor is the main greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. And when you hold the water up high in reservoirs, uh, you know, at, at higher temperature than just letting it drain to the ocean, you get a a lot more water evaporation. And that is a significant greenhouse gas. In fact, it is the major greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. So hydroelectric, if you believe the climate issue, if you believe that our greenhouse gases are significant to reduce, then yeah, let's drain all our reservoirs. You know, so the whole thing becomes foolish. Uh, in many cases, the hydro people, they're just as guilty, if there's any guilt at all, of emitting greenhouse gases as anyone else. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.